At the far eastern end of the island are 45 square miles of prime Cuban coastline occupied by Cuba's enemy. The United States Navy has had a base at Guantanamo since the turn of the century, and it has the right to stay as long as it pleases. As per arrangement, the Americans leased the land for $4,085 a year. Since 1959, Fidel Castro has refused to cash the checks. For Castro's Cuba, Guantanamo is a painful thorn in their side, an overt and irritating reminder of America's chokehold. Our base here in Guantanamo Bay is the oldest United States military base located on foreign soil. We've been here a very, very long time. We've uh, operated as a training station for a very, very long time. And I presume that we've been observed operating from a, as, a, as a training station for a long time. We're here for the long haul. The base is totally isolated from the Cuba that surrounds it. The only thing they exchange is mutual suspicion and 35 Cuban workers, remnants of a more peaceful time when hundreds of Cubans worked on the base. These men may have the strangest commute in the Americas. Every morning, they enter a Cuban checkpoint to be searched. Then they walk a narrow path through the largest minefield in the Western Hemisphere. Granville Dufus has gone back and forth every working day for 31 years. Well, on the job, I have it's a receipt control branch, and that's the, um, that's the section that has to take care of all the incoming shipments. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm a supervisor, and um, the, the three people that, works, that work with me, they are Americans, the three American ladies. Granville has a brother, Pat, who has lived on the base since a couple of years after the revolution. Like a lot of Cuban families, geopolitics has separated the two brothers. I don't talk to him. I will, I will call him on the phone and things like this, but I don't want the other commuters to see me talking with him. They will get the impression that he's bringing news over to me. So I don't want to amper his position. Are you happy with the situation? If I'm happy? Oh, yes, I'm happy like a lark. <laughs> I'm a U.S. citizen now. I got my citizenship, and over here, they treat me very nice. Not only me, all the Cubans are treated nice over here. Beyond the minefield, the barbed wire, and the watchtowers, Guantanamo looks much like a town back home, with all the services and comforts of home. But there's no escaping the military character of the place. Guantanamo is a persistent symbol of U.S. hostility to the Cuban Revolution, and the U.S. determination to give no ground without sweeping changes. If I could conceptualize uh, a wonderful thing to happen while I'm here, it would not be to fire a weapon across that fence, but it would be to see the gate coming open and to see what would go with that. Because, of course, it wouldn't come open with uh, Castro, the communist, the international communist, as we know him today. It would be, have to be a different sort of leader that would, that would be able to, uh, to do that.